having no builds remaining is going to be really tough. There is somebody inside there, the drum gun. Hold down that left mouse click and see if he can knock in. He's going around the outside. He's going to try and make a play. A flank. Are you kidding me? Simmons, you using the storm to hide and gets the elimination on Psalm. One versus one. Two players remaining. 72 hours trying to stay alive. He's got no he, builds left. No it's build Brandon left. who's close. Only 31 HP. If this goes down to a heal fight, 72 hours wins it. Without a case, but there's the engagement trying to build on up. A quick shotgun blast. The second comes in as well. Brandon down to just 54 HP. 72 hours. Popping minis. The zone's closing on in. He's got to go for this push. right now. Brandon dropping on in. 72 hours into the zone. Oh, oh are you my kidding God. me? With three HP. And the spray of the drum gun wins the game and earns the shots coming on in tries to get the floors and the pyramids going one player just below he's going to go to pop the mini but then has to reset as the shots continue to rain on in that drum gun so good at cutting down these layers smart play to reset he'll build up top but again the volley of bullets continues to spray on in animal when will be his cue to go for it all he's trying to edit this pyramid Oh, there, yeah. you go, there you go, there you go. He's getting a little somewhere. bit, trying to create a hole to drop down through right there. He finds an opportunity. You notice he built this up, like you said, built a second layer. It's a shot. He Weak. There's there it is. is. Sam gets cut down. More points earned as we have our victor for game two. Excellent gameplay from a number of players over the course of that. <laughs> He's got that number one holding it up. And that last elimination gives him two more points. Let's take a look back at what just happened. This rotation, the timing, the decision to drop down, and he does get the 55 damage crit there. Switches to the the the, uh, the gold AR to finish. Guarantees him the win. Once he, once he gets that 55 clean HP damage, I think he's going to himself. This is a dub. This is really I'm, I'm feeling quite good, and he knew it. Immediately starts spray, spraying with that drum gun. Has the uh, legendary assault rifle if needed. Now uh, here's the thing. Uh, you know, everyone out there is obviously loving you, right? Because you're just running around the double barrel and just point blanking people. Like, what's going through your head, right? At any moment, you're going to engage someone, and it's like you're so confident in your decisions. You're so confident. You're just like, hey, what's up? It's me, Animal. What's going through your mind at those times? Uh, it's basically trying to outplay my opponent's close quarters and through quick edits. Double barrel allows you to do that, and so does the P90. So that's so what I was rocking just now. Unbelievable. Any final thoughts for all the people out there that love you? Uh, I just want to say, hi, Mom. <laughs> there you go. All right, I got to take a call real quick. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that sums up. What can you say? Everything I mean, over there. Yeah, uh, com the confidence. It, I'm busy right now. I got I to gotta go. Wow, he's making executive deals. He's getting calls and offers that... <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what could For be going on. Like that. Put myself in the best spot to secure a win or another a limb. It's incredible to see gameplay from players like this. And he's the other thing I've noticed about the way that he's been playing, uh, more so especially in the first game, he's taking loadouts that are not necessarily common. Right there he has one that you'll see quite a few players uh, run, but even the first game he had a, the purple burst. He had a, a compact SMG, which a lot of players are choosing the drum gun over it just because of the pure amount of damage it can do up close. And, and it seems like he's versatile with whatever he's running. Here it is again. He just puts himself in a great spot to secure quick, clean eliminations. This was the whole fight inside of the kind of blue-red corner building. He knows the opponent's placing traps and running up the stairs, and he perfectly times it. Where Sloth goes to peak, he says, anything you can do, I'm, I'm basically one step ahead, my friend. This is against Saint, who has been playing every week in the skirmish, it seems like, with OPS and SCT from TSM. Wins this 1v1 as clean as can be. Ridiculous stuff. There's a look at him right now. Tongue out, excited. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, he's feeling good after two games. Really good pursuits from him. Even that, like you said, that push on Saint in the middle of uh, the Fortnite long. presents High Stakes. We are super excited to give you the first look at High Stakes, a brand new event coming to Fortnite next week. High Stakes has made up a brand new limited time mode called the Getaway, a new wild card outfit with selectable styles and a free set of challenges that unlock rewards. Tune in tomorrow for a first look at the outfit and glider that will be coming to the item shop when High State launches next week. I mean, come on. Look people. at his skin, Jack. You, Might be the most. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? A jeweled llama. I want that thing. Where can I get one, Jack? I want one in my house right now. Bye.
One of the biggest names online of the summer skirmish up to this point, trying to bounce around, trying to see exactly where he can spot an opponent. The storm slowly inching forward, everyone within just one or two walls of each other. It does not get more intense than this. Traps being placed, and now Lupo, this is it. This is the last move they've had to make. 24 seconds until the zone closes, and basically everyone's hand is forced. Now, Sean might still be in the best position, depending on the healing of the other players. He has five bandages, and the healing through HP damage uh -oh. is huge. Someone's out of shield. Come out. Skyros goes down to, to Bizzle top three, which means these three players get two points apiece. That elim for Bizzle not only gave him top three, but it gave him a third elimination. Bizzle trying to strike down this opponent. It's not going to happen yet, so Bizzle has no healing, and he's only got 60 HP. He's got to force these fights. He's got to make something happen. He's looking to make it happen towards his low side, down to just one HP. Can he make the greatest play happen? I don't think Sean drops. Why would Sean ever drop? This he's elimination will be worth two points right now. Goes Bizzle. Good effort, my friend, but Sean knows there's no reason to force it. There it is. The shot in Sean. An excellent play. Six eliminations. Oh, yeah. That's confidence. An excellent set of decision-making uh, opportunities there. As he was up top, he rotated at the right times. He yep. stayed above and, and in front of the next move for each circle. Ghost Bizzle. He's like, all right, hey. You know what? His big role right there, yes, could he have tried to maybe get the Victor Roy out? It would have been near possible at that last moment on the bottom side of things. But the big thing for him was that elimination. And Victor how are you feeling after that game? I'm feeling really good. I didn't expect it. I was going to try and hide the whole entire game and just make top three. But just I just got killed. So <laughs> I don't know. The ball started rolling. And it all worked out. Now, when you were getting those eliminations, were you, were you aware? Were you like, man, that's three, four, five, six? Or were you just like... I'm just getting another game, and then you drop down on someone, you're like, oh, that was the Victor Real, or were you aware of what was going on? I mean, I was just keeping high ground, just shooting at people. There's nothing really, I don't know, I'm not trying to be cocky, but when you're on the top, it's literally, it just, you just pop people off. And now... I had lucky RNG on my AR, so... Okay, and now in those final moments, right, you're sitting up top, did you know the player would download, like, this, this player had one HP, did you know that? Because it felt like you waited for a while, and then you just dropped down, and you were just like, hey, double barrel, let's go, 1v1, because you even dropped into the storm. Well, since all the graphics are high on these computers, if you drop in the storm, they can't really see you, and the shotgun is just, it's broken, so. Fantastic, so what about, what is your strategy? You've got a full, uh, three more games lined up. What is your strategy going into this game? Are you just gonna keep going aggro and keep slaying, or are you just gonna take it easy? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go for some plays, because I'm pretty sure I'm qualified now, most likely, so if I can just get some content for you guys, that'd be cool. <laughs> well, thank you so much, man. Good luck in the rest of your games. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a short five minute break. Don't go anywhere, we have more action coming your way after this. Pickaxe, I'd be, I'd be done. There's no bonus points for that, uh, folks, but I feel like there should be. Someone get on it, someone get on it. Oh, that's, that's the awkward thing. It's not even like he can hope for the three limbs. Deer's tendons with zero. So basically just playing for placement. He's already earned himself two points just by surviving the top three. He's low on ammo too. He's not got a lot to work with either. Shots from tendons burning through potentially Full what clip. he has left. He and Saints both in bad positions for ammo, like you said, and the next rotation is happening. This looks like it might be a push up the hill. He might not be worried about the next zone. He might be going for an Elam here to get that, try and push himself to second and maybe a win. Gets a shot, Tendons gets it. And Saint with basically nothing left. He had five shotgun shells. Five shotgun shells, and he plays it flawlessly. Recognizes the scenario. I cannot really fight a full-fledged fight with how little ammo I have. I've got to look for a third-party engagement. This is his perspective. He hears them fighting. He hears, you know, damage being traded. Okay, doesn't get that limit. Would have been nice because it would have actually put him at three. But in the end, all he cares about is that victory royale. Secures it there, and that'll put him in a pretty, pretty position, Lupo. When we take a look at our standings later, as he hopes to earn one of those 33 spots from tonight to make it into the grand final. Fantastic, but he's going to start getting tapped at from above here. At least he'll have a big shield to use. Put him at 162. Push. Saf. Oh, Saf. Looking at the shot. People. The wall blocks it. A last second build. These are all his mats. Keep this in mind. These are all of his mats. Down at a 75. The spray comes in with the drum gun. He's got this player weak. This would be only a second of limit. There it is. Tries to edit on out, but Saf from Ghost. 
gets the victory. And I think if you if you pick a winning organization from the day, it's got to be Ghost Gaming. Go, Ghost Gaming has been uh, performing above and beyond both Saf and Aiden. Every player from Ghost seems to just know exactly what, how to play this. And he waited. He baited the edit. No, seeing Fuzzy work on the wall right there, he took an opportunity, hit the jump shotgun shot, and got the Elim. Thank you.